Somebody's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave the room. Yeah. Greetings. 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 Uh, Grove Tuesday, Fat Tuesday, Pancake Tuesday. So you'll all be church tomorrow. There's one thing I must do before we do anything else. I owe a great apology to two people who gave, who came out as life members, and I forgot to record it. And Mr. Sawley, will you come up here? You know, Nina is not with you, but this is really to make amends for really having screwed up something rather badly. Because his very good friend Nina bought a life membership to him for Christmas. I'm sorry that Christmas is too late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a postcard tonight. <laughs> Save your postage, too. And here's your book. And if you want to convey these to Nina, I would appreciate it. I am so sorry. And I apologize very, very much if I can do that. I really do apologize. I screw up, I do it in style. <laughs> Thank you very much. Really, I welcome you. Mr. Sawley's father, very in touch. He's responsible for a lot of what you're sitting in right now. Right? Absolutely. He's one, one of that original group that put this place together. One of the, that, that group of brain trust there at the right time. So. Thank you very much, and we thank you for your father very much. Uh, Madam Secretary, do you have a few words to say? Please. A special meeting of the Linfield Historical Society was held at the meeting house on November 18th. In light of renewed interest in preserving old houses with a program from the Cummings Art Project of Ipswich. Before the presentation, President Harris noted the passing of Pamela John Oral earlier in the week. The Secretary's and Treasury's reports were given and accepted. A request for help at the upcoming, upcoming country store was made, especially for greens and baked goods and extra freezer space for the large quantity of baked beans. Edie Richard and her committee provides for the hand bean table. Mr. Harris also mentioned a gift of a computer from Dr. Neal to the Historic Commission and a large donation to the Meeting House Restoration Fund from a charitable group from New York, Manton Group. The President then introduced Matthew Cummings and Jim Wynn Ipswich architects who presented their programs featuring slides of several before and after house restorations in Ipswich and in Byron. Ipswich having an unusual number, over 50 first period restorations from the early 1700s, with several streets still encompassing the original layout of roads. At the conclusion of the program, the persons were served by several male members of the <laughs> Thank you. Any uh, errors or remissions? Do I hear a motion that we accept the it says red. Second. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Be unanimous. Steve, can you turn the heat on? I did. It just hasn't shut off yet. Oh. I'm trying to shut the fan off. Well, Mr. Colton, uh, Treasurer, can you give us a brief rundown on where we stand financially? Please. Okay, very quickly, uh, the uh, coming score final profit is $3,863.21. So we did quite well. It was better than the year before, slightly. So that was very nice. Uh, this year, so far, we've been going along very well due to some very lovely uh, uh, gifts that have come in by way of our good president. And don't, don't point me out. Well, I, I'm pointing you out. You're the guy that brought in the 50,000 from the thing and hit the local banks for money. So we did very well with that. 
So our income so far is $73,658 and change. And our expenses so far, since we haven't redone the painting and so forth, finished the building up a little bit, is $63,724 and change, giving us so far a profit of $9,933 up to this point in the year. We're doing quite well. Okay. We about to say something. I was going to ask for questions. I forgot the other sheet. The one that gives us tells us how much we have. <laughs> well, we have roughly two hundred and three thousand. Two hundred and three thousand. Um, as we said, like I may just in the pause a little bit. Uh, in our meeting, we had a board meeting last night, and basically on our investments, we've lost about what seven percent, which is not bad since not bad. The stock market went down fifty percent. So. Very good. Guy the the Madoff helped us out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Madoff, you drew the Madoff money early. <laughs> 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 Any uh, comments? Or? That's extraordinary. That's what it is. Excuse me, sir. That's extraordinary. Raise all that money. Thank you. out that our treasurer is not of the accounting fraternity, but is an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, when we talk about the Manson Foundation, when I wrote to New York to say, give us some money, they said, send back your budget. And I said, we don't have a budget, but I'll give you the last three reports. And I said, I caution you that our treasurer is an MIT graduate, <laughs> which means that it was done in a not in an accounting fashion, which you can't read, but one you can read. Yeah, uh, we thank you. And four ladies, would you like to stand up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley, Bill, Millie, and Linda, thank you very much for the repast. What are you going to? No, that's right. All right, well, <clears throat> we thank you very much. And anybody else who would like to be honored next month, then please let Linda know, and you can sit over here. <laughs> no, no, we do need some help as we go along. Linda's very good about rounding them up. Can we just ask for a volunteer right now? Um, we can, but um, well, let's put it this way. Yes, if anybody knows right now, will they? I'm going to put this way. Will you please see you before you go home. Don't let me down now. Please see her before you go home. I think it's the best thing to do. Yeah. And that, uh, not a lot of heavy, heavy lifting, but you get, you get, do get pointed out, honored at the beginning of the show, and you get to bring a little bit of your home. Cooking. But I have a whole uh, a list of things you need to do and how to do it and everything. It's very easy. It's just, it's, yeah. All right. It's not hard, is it? Yeah. Good. <clears throat> we had a board meeting last night. Very quickly, as far as money is concerned, you know, we got a grant from the Essex National Heritage Commission for forty-five hundred dollars. They gave us forty-five hundred. We matched it with something like seven thousand, and to um, get the report on the building, the historical report. You were here when Finch was here, and also we had a we have a man who will be a speaker in the, I think April. Yes, an excellent speaker whose with particular company is in the matter of, of the engineering restorations, and he's going to run a program on restorations he's done. And some of the pictures I've seen, you see scaffolding underneath big buildings and so on and so forth. But um, that report has been very good. It's not really finished yet, but we did get our full 4,500 from the Essex National. The Manton Foundation, the one in New York, that Evan point out, it pointed out very briefly, we requested 136,000. We gave it 52,000. <coughs> We took the 52,000 covered a schedule which was given to them of work. And the schedule, the work we wanted done right now, this quarter, was we put in 25,000 for painting, we put in 8,000 for the wood, for repairing woodwork, restoration, and 11,000 for a drain board or a round building, and 6,000 for a handicap ramp, which we should really have. 
and there's a couple of thousand consultants. And to date on that, as Evan pointed out, we've actually spent in the painting, we've still got some done, some left to do. George is doing the inside of the building of the windows. They have to be done. The outside was done, they have to be done. But uh, we spent about 43,000 of that. So we got about 9,500 left from that particular fund to account for doing the rest of the, doing the, the ramp and the, and a, a border. We have to have a drain border around. We want it to be a good one. No point in doing something that's half baked. So we'll have to see. But we got also gifts beyond that. Harriet Hope, we thank you. We thank you for the time. We never, never been doing enough for the thousand dollars you gave us towards the seven. Mm -hmm. And also we got a thousand from the Wakefield Co-op and four thousand from the savings bank. So <clears throat> anybody knows of good sources for more money. We need it. I read only a little bit of a letter which we got from the Manhattan <laughs> Foundation saying, here's your money. <clears throat> and there is a sentence in here that says, the trustees are particularly interested in hearing about any additional locally based, locally based donations that may have been leveraged by the foundation's grant. Consideration of any future proposals. In other words, come back and talk to us if you want. Consideration of any future proposals will be contingent upon the demonstration that greater local support has been secured for the restoration project. Uh, you think we can get 30,000, 40,000 out of the townspeople? I'm not going to ask for it from the budget. Out of the townspeople. Um, well, everybody in the town gives a dollar. That's 12,000. Every land, every homeowner, get $10, $10 out of every homeowner. Every household, you know, every resident, I think it's 44,000 residents. What's that come to, 40,000? I don't know whether you can do it or not. Anybody got any good ideas or wants to get out and scramble for money? Because this building, I don't care what they say, when your house, or when anybody buys a house in Linfield, you can be pretty sure that the real estate people drive them by the meeting house and point it out. So it is a great value for town just for that reason, but nothing else. Uh, <clears throat> left, work left to do are uh, lights and electricity <clears throat> and some other stuff. But the electricals and the lights have to be worked on. They're going to take some work. We've been working on a new brochure. The historical center is getting into shape pretty well. We're working very closely with the historical commission and we're getting uh, files that we thank our own librarians and the commission people for working with us. And that place will be uh, in quite good shape where we can keep all our stuff and people can go in there and get information on Linfield. Uh, I said two minutes on the CPA. You want to do it? Yes, here. <laughs> but only two minutes because when it comes down, I, you want me to do your speech for you? Uh, uh, you do it. Uh, you're too long. I'll do it for you. Speak from there. Speak of us. <laughs> 